Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Luke Chris, and welcome back to Ruby Reactions. This time we're looking at episode three, the Ace Operatives. Hmm. So yeah, I didn't have the best first impression of the Ace Operatives. In fact, I'm still pretty sure I'm going to end up hating at least one of them. But the fact that one of them is like a dog Faunus who wagged his tail so freaking much, that was adorable and funny, so he gets a small pass. Not a big pass, but just enough to give him some leeway my way. Alright, what we got going here? Oh, again! Yeah, very beautiful animation. Very beautiful animation. Right, I love it. Around. Our mission today is to secure uh, the launch site. Uh, uh, oh, that's right, because they're launching a gigantic satellite that controls everything up in space closer, today. The Grim have moved in. That won't Good go news? wrong at all. The touch dust is still down there, too. Science team says they'll need it for the first phase of their launch. Uh, Apologies huh. for the mess. And for holding on to your weapon. To hey, Geppetto! Off. The upgrades you requested were, uh... Woo, upgrades. Well, there were more than I anticipated. Really? <laughs> Atlas military huntsmen are already hard at work clearing out the surrounding tundra. Dang. The recon has identified a powerful... Wow, those uniforms. To destruction. And I mean, they lives. look like Navy? After we increased of? our numbers, the guys were smart enough to retreat into the mine itself. Meaning it's old and extremely oh boy. dangerous. Yeah. This is our target. I think we've seen that before. Armor should be as requested, but I also took the liberty of reviewing your combat footage yep. from the viral uh, festival uh, trailer. Uh, There's some additional enhancements I'd like to suggest. New outfits. Oh, but for now, uh, please should serve you. Oh, Nora, that was lovely. Mine was a labyrinth. Thank you for that, day. Nora. Thank you for that. There's all <laughs> sorts of tunnels and chambers the guys can move between. So if we're gonna kill this thing. We'll have to split up and corner it. Oh, oh no. Ah, feels. Why? General Ironwood says you've seen your fair share of combat. I yes. trust that man with my life. So tomorrow, I'll be trusting you all too. Ooh, new red cape. Hey. Or cloak. Hey. Reveal time. Please be awesome. Woo! That is awesome! That is awesome! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh! Okay, that was a great reveal of their outfits. And again, I wish, I wish I could show you guys the whole scene. But it's got that music in it that I don't have access to. Unless I want YouTube to kind of not like me. But yeah, oh, that was a great reveal of their, not only their new style of outfits, but also their new hairstyles. I, for the most part, I like the new hairstyles. I'm a little on the fence about Blake's. I mean, I really love the, the luxurious hair that she had. But now she's kind of having to like a semi-bob cut, I think? Uh, it's like, well, it's, it's kind of like the schoolgirls anime bob cut thing. I don't know. But I, it may grow on me. I may be completely wrong. The style itself may grow on me. Who knows? But I'm just going to say that was a great introduction to their new outfits, new styles. I love it. Thank you, Rooster Teeth team. That was really well done. And we have Juniper doing pretty good. Perhaps you kids won't get yourselves killed after all. I mean, maybe. That is um, a she possibility, I guess. A compliment. Oh, the style is this so is great. Squad. I love it. LZ's clear. Proceeding on foot. You've all got fancy new scrolls, so don't forget yeah, to use them. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Ears open. I want an update if you encounter the target. Alpha out. Uh, uh huh. Uh, sorry. Uh, what? Just not used to the new hair yet. Is it bad? No, no, it's good. Great, even. Man, I did not sign uh, up to be a babysitter. Uh, well, technically, yeah, you kind of well, did. The rest of us babysit you all the time. Oh, ouch! And you didn't, you didn't say anything to that, which kind of makes me think you are kind of guilty of being needing to be babysat. And of course, let's go into the big spooky cave. Oh, it's freezing out here. It's a With tundra. Or a projected aura, the cold of Solitas can kill you in a matter of hours. I suddenly don't feel as bad about leaving Oscar behind. Yeah. Can we? Talk about that again. Hmm. What exactly happened? What about it? We're really not going to tell Ironwood what happened to us. Yeah. What we learned about Jin, about Salem. We are. We will. Oh but no. But you saw how things looked when we flew into Atlas. 
The General's heart seems to be in the right place, but that doesn't mean we should trust him yet. We need to play along for a while before we make any major decisions. Okay. This is gonna explode in your face. How did Oscar feel about that? This is gonna blow up in your face. You uh, know this. You shouldn't keep running around with an ancient relic on a keychain. You know. Probably not the best choice. But. I know you'll keep it safe in Atlas. Ruby, uh, hiding things from Ironwood. Doesn't that feel like what Ozpin did to us? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I they get say, where they're coming from. So Honestly, really I do. The in the field. But this is gonna but blow up in the. It's like, four, eh. weren't you? I've seen this scenario Long dozens time. of times. Sorry, gotta pause you. I Don't wanna miss anything word. too much. But I have seen this scenario dozens of times. The the good guys keep something from the their fellow comrades. It blows up in your face. Something that could have been avoided happens if you have told them this. And then it just spirals out of control out of there. And you usually get one of two different endings. One, you get the nice um, reconciliation ending where everything's fine. Everything seems to ha happen for the better. The guy understands why you did all of it. Or B, the guy goes off the rails thinking he can no longer trust anyone and he makes some of the worst choices ever. I am I am on the fence about which what side I want to go for on that one because I've seen the reconciliation version of it a lot. A lot. And I would like to see a different version of it. But at the same time... He's such a good guy. I mean, granted, he's very militaristic, but he has everyone's best intentions at heart, and it feels like he welcomed them with a hug. He welcomed them basically with a hug, and... Uh, yeah, this is me being my fanboy self. But regardless, I'm looking forward to seeing how this all plays out, and I want to get back to this, so let's get back to it. The connecting ice tunnels seem clear. Uh huh. We should be approaching the actual mine any minute now. Oh, you're this not in the mine so yet? Hmm. It feels like we're an actual huntsman team. I am. Um, I mean, you kind of like are? what you did with your outfit, Ren. Oh. We probably stay focused on the mission. Ooh. Shut down. Oh. Okay. I like your outfit too. Hmm. Huh. Ah! Checking in. A a oh, Nora, don't worry. In a cave and in the main entrance. Ren cannot escape Not your boots sure for long. Not sure was caused by the original accident. Either uh -oh. way, we'll have to do a little problem solving. Something about your reaction, Blake. Know if you need anything. You okay? I just realized where we are. Yeah. This mine was closed after an explosion. Oh. I remember this disaster. Or rather, I remember how furious it made my father. Oof. I wish I could take back the years of pain my family has caused the Faunus, and all of my complacency in it. Development! Yay! This society is set up for Faunus to be at the bottom, and humans are willing participants. They benefit from doing nothing to help us. Mm. There are still those who actively abuse us. Anyway, I didn't come over here looking to solve systemic societal issues. No, you just came to rub it in her face. In the rubble we think one of you could fit through. Oh, Ideally, no. someone with a knack for seeing in the dark? Oh boy. Uh, oh, of course. Well. Okay. Why are we looking at that box? There's gonna be something about that box. I just feel it. Is there something about the All box? Right, Blake. Take a look around. Is there any dust in the immediate area? I like My the fact that they added a bit of a gold trim to her uh, blade where the blade snapped. No That's dust, nice. Though. I like Great. that. Great. Then it should be safe to blast our way through. No. Okay. Back. It's never safe to blast anywhere. Point this proven. Oh. I feel like I should know that from something. Don't let it get away. Huh? Oh, whoa. Okay, new Graham. Oh, that is. Oh, that is creep. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Well, I think Yang Dung goofed a little bit there. Okay, what are we looking at here? What are we looking at? Oh, wow. That is, um... That is very, very creepy. That is very... Ooh, those pincers, those... those ooh. Ooh, boy, that gives me something of the creeps. So, what are these guys called? Centipedes? Uh, millipedes? Centigrim? I don't know. But I'm going to guess they're more cave-dwelling grim, uh, mostly because of the pincers and the fact that it was able to drill out of the ground. So, now, that makes me wonder, did this mine get abandoned 
strictly because of the Grim? I wouldn't deny that because... <laughs> or was it something else? Something that Blake did precisely that caused the Grim to come in. Seeing as how she looked very, very uncomfortable. I mean, granted the fact that she was part of the White Fang for a while. Well, technically her whole life she was born into it. But this specifically... We haven't seen a lot of Blake and her past, um, her past White Fang activities. The most we saw was in the first trailer ever with the Shni Dust Train. And, of course, a, a few flashbacks into when she was a child and she was doing the whole protesting gig. But we haven't really heard much of what she's done when the White Fang transitioned to a more violent approach under Sienna Khan, which I still think was underutilized. That's disgusting. Yes, and very creepy, disgusting. Oh boy. All right, new weapons in order, or not even technically the weapons, maybe just the upgrades. I want to see if there are any upgrades. Oh. No. Oh, wow. Oh, well, I love that. I love that. Oh, grenades. Everyone loves grenades or sticky bombs, whichever you want to call it. Oh. Is that a boomerang? You come back! <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. I love the boomerangs. Dude. Skin. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is Robo. What? No, 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 seriously. Did that guy just stop Grim in their tracks? What kind of stuff was does that? I mean, dogs stay. It's very on the nose there, but is it um a, like a verbal command semblance that allows him to temporarily give an order to someone? Or is it something more uh, specified to Grim? I don't know. <laughs> okay, what the heck was that? And... Oh! Shield burst. I love it. Oh, grapples? Oh, well, you gotta have a good grapple. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that. Oh. A very okay. head first approach. Very veil. Yeah, well, that's just kind of our style. Yeah, it very much is. <sighs> Not sure they like it though. Ooh. One left. Or oh, is it one it. left? Left. Well, okay. <gasps> your someone makes you super fast, just like me. Very cool. Though, based on your reaction time, I'd say I'm a little faster. Ooh! Challenge accepted! All squads, head towards our position! What we got here? A fishing line? Oh, that's nice! I like that. Yeah, doesn't necessarily work on ghosts, does it? Or poltergeist. I, I, what's this grim classified as again? I can't remember. But I remember that. Uh, dude, it's not working. Wait, stop! Darn it. Target escaped. Last scene headed uh -huh. east. Uh-huh. Thanks for the call out. Yeah. That could have been bad. That would have been very bad. I wouldn't thank me. My semblance brings misfortune. Sometimes I can't keep it under control. That's so? Well, hey, don't beat yourself up about it. My semblance is good fortune. Oh. Lucky you, huh? Charlie, bravo. Uh, you should be able to cut what? off the target at the heart of the mine. Crow and I won't be far behind. I saw that little wink there. Crow finally met someone whose bad luck might not affect. I mean, granted, it's someone who actually has good luck as a semblance, but that's actually going to be pretty interesting. That's going to be a really interesting dynamic to see progress. I mean, will their semblance cancel each other out? Will it work in tandem? Will it cause misfortune to their enemies? Will good fortune to them? There's so many possibilities that that could do, and I'm really, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Really looking forward to seeing how that works and progresses. I have a feeling it's going to be spectacular. 
Oh, two sledgehammers. Nice. I like it. Who doesn't love hammers? Gigantic hammers. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Guys! Everyone use caution. This room is highly active with dust energy. Yeah. Triggering it could ruin the launch site. And vaporize us. How is that always second with you? I mean, I he's very mission oriented. I will give him here. that. Uh-oh. That's not good. It added dust to its body? Yes. How are we supposed to kill? I think they have an idea. Are these guys like the Fantastic Four or something? Or Fantastic Five, I guess would be the actual term. I mean, she's like the thing. He's like Mr. Fantastic. The only question is who's um the Invisible Woman and who's Johnny Storm. Love the fact that they brought in a boomerang. Very. I, it feels a lot like hair. No, not like hair. No. Are you based on the Flash? Lovely. But yeah, no, it has very Songo feel from uh, Inuyasha, and I like that. That's a very nice feeling. Crap! Crap! Oh. Crap! Oh no, no, not what crap. What you guys do without me? I mean, granted that you have like substantially amount of good luck. Yeah. Oh, this is a really great fight, and it's actually giving us a really good look into what the Ace team can do. And that's really cool. And it actually showcases the difference in, um... It kind of showcases the difference in ability... Oh. Oh! I think we can classify that as a, that as a KO. Sorry, I see you when I see the flash. Oh, maybe not faster. I thought you said your semblance was like mine. It is? I've seen other speed semblances before. Uh huh. That, that was different. Yes. Oh, 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 that was great. That was fantastic. So, that was a great showcase of their different semblances and their abilities and their weapons. And oh, that was a really. Fantastic! I love that. I love that. Now I'm very mixed on how to feel about the A-Team. I was really ready to fall and hate them in the first episode. Now, now I don't know what to feel. But now I'm, I'm also very confused as to who these guys are based off of. One of them's a dog with a boomerang. One of them is a hare with cybernetic arm enhancements. One of them is, like, super strong with a giant sledgehammer. One of them is a monk who acts like Mr. Fantastic. And the other is the antithesis to Crow. How am I supposed- Who are these guys? Okay, that's enough of me going gaga over that. Now, I will give my full thoughts on this later in more in a more coherent fashion, in a more subdued fashion, as per a analysis, as is I'm trying to make as a thing. Lucky catch, huh? Yeah. Hmm. No, I chalked that one up to talent. Hmm. That was control. This is Clover. Oh, I love that. <laughs> little team building. I like it. Over. Thanks for the lift. Hmm. Uh oh. This is gonna go wrong very quickly. I just know it. Dude, you better be running. Oh gosh. Who are you? Uh, best not ask. Best to run. Oh, well, I'm someone just like you. <laughs> Someone who wants to mix things up around. Uh, here. what the heck is that? <laughs> well, that got dark fast. Then again, what can I expect when Tyrion gets involved? That guy's cuckoo bananas. Now, what did I think? I think this was a very well done and put together episode. 
A lot of good foreshadowing, a lot of good team building, and a lot of good character development, I feel. Also, it doesn't hurt the fact that we got to look into their new, um, new outfits, new, uh, styles, new weapons, or new weapon features, I should say, in a very, in a very believable way. I really do enjoy the new upgrades that they have. The fact that Yang now has sticky bombs with her, uh, gauntlets. Awesome. But going back to the, what I believe, but going back to their styles, I'm still a bit on the fence about the whole Blake short hair thing. I'm sure it will grow on me. I'm sure it will grow on me. But right now, it's like, come on. Hers is the biggest shock, yeah, hair-wise, out of the entire cast. Ruby's kind of new messed up do. I can believe that. That is very believable with her semblance and speed. So I can, it's a, it's a very natural type look. Yang didn't look like she changed her hair at all. But then again, if you try to cut her hair, bad things tend to happen to you. And Wise, of course, hers is just like more a more braided version of her ponytail, which looks really good, really good, actually. I do enjoy the, uh, the new look of it, I should say. The only other person on the, uh, Ruby Juniper, uh, Ruby Juniper team that changed their look more than anyone else, I think, would be Jean. He has another pauldron to his, uh, shoulder. His hair was cut and flared up. So, that is actually a nice look. I, I, I kind of liked his, um, laid down hair look a bit more. But, again, like I said, like with, uh... Blake's hair, I'm pretty sure it will grow on me. Now, let's go into their, uh, <laughs> but that, uh, but the whole new style kind of brings me back to the new team that has been introduced to us. Team Ace or Ace Operatives. I don't know what they're called right now. They may be Clover Team. Nah. Anyways, I'm really interested in seeing who they are. I was full, I will, I'll admit, I was fully prepared to hate them at the, um, when I first saw them and how they acted. The whole elitist feel, everything like that. I was pretty ready to hate these guys. But after this episode, I'm willing to give them more of a chance because um, the more development I saw between them, the interactions they have, they already had a lot of good leeway with me the last episode with, <laughs> with the guys shaking tail. That was awesome. I love that. But now I'm just overly curious as to who they're based off of. Their abilities remind me a lot of different heroes, like from Marvel and DC, The Flash, Mr. Fantastic, and a couple others too. So I'm over, I'm very curious as to who, what uh, fairy tales these guys are actually based off of. Hmm. And of course, uh, <laughs> the ace team leader. The fact that he's lucky as opposed to uh, Crow's unluckiness, that could open up so many possibilities that I want to see happen. Lastly, Ruby's semblance may not be super speed. Now that'd be something interesting to see. Is it something else entirely? Because everything that we've seen of speed uh, semblances thus far, it has them simply running. Hers, it covers her in this vortex of rose petals and propels her forward. Is that strictly speed or is that something else? I am very curious. And also that little joke about the fact that she has silver eyes and no one else knows is lovely. I like that. I want to see that happen. But anyways, uh, as suffice it to say, great episode. Looking forward to the next one, which I think is already out. I'll get right on that. Well, no, I, I don't think it's out. I know it's out. I'm already a little bit behind, so I got to catch it myself up. Anyways, this is Luke Christ. Or, anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have something else you'd like me to react to, let me know in the comments below too. Also, I'm hoping to get to five likes this time. Maybe, possibly, hopefully. Anyways, this is Luke Christ, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya.